Hello everyone. Let's see the design of Seaver now. So what do we mean by Seaver first of all? So Seaver is an underground conduit or simply we can say underground pipe which is generally of circular or egg shape and the purpose of this pipe is to carry sewage to final point of disposal. So a sewer carries the I mean sewer takes the sewage from houses and from industries and from other places which are generating the sewage and it will carry it to the treatment plant and from treatment plant it will carry it to the final point of disposal that can be a stream or it can be lake or it can be sea depending upon the place and apart from sewage sewer can be designed to carry storm water that is your rain water so the, a sewer can be designed to carry sewage as well as storm water so what is the difference between water water carrying system and sewage carrying system or we can say sewer system so two major differences are there first of all presence of solids in sewage so one more thing to tell that a sewer is designed as an open channel flow so that is another difference whereas water carrying system can be designed as pressure flow so here in sewage solids are present so because of these solids if there is if a minimum velocity is not present in this in this sewer system then the solids can settle in the pipe bottom and they will foul and they will create the foul conditions and they will choke the pipe also so due to these reasons there should be a minimum velocity and as i said it is an open channel flow so for that a gradient has to be provided that is a downward gradient has to be has to be provided so that there is a minimum velocity and these particles do not settle in the pipe and whereas there is no i mean for water carrying pipe it can go upward or downward depending upon the topography because that we can carry in pressure so that is the water carrying system is designed in i mean under pressure the water flows under pressure in that whereas here it flows under atmospheric pressure or i mean it is under atmospheric pressure but the flow happens due to gravity as we have seen in open channel flow so all the things i mean all the same things are applicable here so for because of these reasons a continuous downward gradient is required and because of that i mean the sewage treatment plant will be on the on the very downstream i mean at a point which has very low elevation or if it is it cannot be provided at low elevation then pumping has to be done before it can be treated so these are the difference for water and sewage carrying system so depending upon whether the i mean how the sewer carries sewage and storm water there are several types of types of sewer systems types of sewer systems first is separate system then there can be combined system and the last is partially combined system so all the systems have their advantages and disadvantages and depending upon the place and other conditions it will be decided that which system to go for so in separate system two pipes are two separate pipes are provided 
one to carry the sewage and the other one to carry the storm water in case of combined system only one pipe is provided and it will carry both sewage as well as storm water in case of partially combined system here also one pipe is provided so it will carry the sewage and it will carry the i mean it will carry a limited quantity of storm water and when this limited quantity exceeds of storm water then rest of the storm water will flow in open drains so in case of separate system the dia that is required for this pipe it will be less and this storm water can directly be disposed of to the final point of disposal that can be a stream or lake or sea whatever it is so the treatment will be required for only the only the sewage that is flowing in this pipe so the 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 size of treatment plant size of treatment plant is less in case of combined system it is suitable for bigger cities and it is suitable for the places where rainfall happens or rainfall is there throughout the year throughout the year because if if it is provided at a place where rainfall does not occur throughout the year then when the rainfall is not happening as we call it the dry weather in dry weather there will not be sufficient discharge in the pipe and because of that velocity will be low and solids that are present in the sewage that will settle i mean these solids will settle and foul conditions will be created so that is another limitation and one more thing can be the dia required in this combined system will be more so because of that more excavation will be required and if the place is congested then it is not it will not be suitable so all these things have to be considered in case of partially combined system the i mean the dia of the pipe will be more than the separate system but it will be less than combined system so these are some of the benefits and disadvantages of these systems so after that we can see the types of sewers first is lateral sewer so it will be of the smallest size it carries the sewage from households so that is the first step in the collection of sewage and then after that these lateral sewers are connected to the branch sewer so let me draw if these are houses then this will be initially this first one will be your lateral sewer this is lateral and then these will be connected to another pipe and that will be your branch sewer and then from other places also these laterals and branch will be connecting and these will be connected to a main sewer this will be the main sewer so that's how it works so branch sewer is also known as sub main sewer so there is not much to tell apart from that the dia of branch sewer will be bigger than the lateral sewer this is lateral and after that these branch sewers are connected to main sewer which is also known as trunk sewer so this will be carrying the sewage to the treatment plant or in some cases there is another sewer that is that is this treatment plant cannot may not be located at this place and so there is a transfer sewer like this so that is known as your intercepting sewer so it intercepts the flow and then this sewer i mean it is generally located along the slope or along the natural slope natural slope or it can be located along the along the stream so it, there may be a stream flowing along with the sewer so here the sewer is provided then this will connect 
to the treatment plant and from treatment plant another sewer will be provided which will end into the stream and that we call as the that we call as the outfall sewer so outfall sewer is the sewer which which is the last part of this system last part of sewer system and it carries the sewer to the to the final point of disposal so these are the types of sewer then we can see some design data which is used i am just telling the important points here not going into much of the details design and before that one more thing that is as i said it is designed as open channel so the formula what are used for open channel flow these can be those can be used here so chazy's formula that is that is v is equal to c under root rs this can be used for the design of sewer and apart from that manning's formula that is generally used that is v is equal to 1 by n r to the power 2 by 3 s to the power 1 by 2 so s is the slope of the pipe and and i mean s is the channel slope and r is the hydraulic mean depth that is r is equal to a by p so all these things we have seen so let's see the design data some of the points 